So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to another video in which we'll be exploring a tag known as the image tag. Now image tag, just like you might have guessed, allows you to embed images in an HTML document. And a lot of times you're going to need that. You can see you will find images all the way um, when you're browsing internet. You can see here as well, this little icon right here looks like an image. This code damn logo is an image. This might, you might say this is an image. This is an image, 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 all that stuff, right? So images are important. Now, how do you embed them? Well, you see that we have not, we haven't seen any tag right now, which would say that, which would lets you embed images um, in a natural way. So there's a actually tag for embedding images in HTML and that is called an IMG tag, right? Now you can go ahead and write something like this, IMG. But the thing is, with HTML, when you embed an image, what you can do is there are there were a couple of choices for the makers of HTML. Now, don't really bite me on this one because I have no idea why they chose, um, you know, one choice over another. Now they could have technically, you know, allowed you to write maybe the URL of the image here, something like that. I don't know, might have worked, you know, logo.png, something like that. But it's not how it works, right? That's just it is. You just have to accept it. How it works <coughs> instead <coughs> is pretty much like how the anchor tag works. So you need to specify additional information through the attributes. So for the image attributes, instead of href, it's the source, the src attribute, right? So inside the src attribute, you're going to specify a URL, which would point to a particular image, right? So in our case, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this image URL, copy image address. There we go and paste it right here. So here we are. Well, not the best choice because it's a, um, it's a white thing. So yeah, let's just go ahead. Okay, dookie. I think we are in trouble. So let's just go ahead and search for images here. You know, we can just pick up the image of Google. Why the hell not? Open image in new tab. And here we are. And I'm just going to go ahead and replace this image with this new one from Google. Right. So we have this nice little Google logo here. Now, the thing is that once we have placed the image, we do not really have a lot of thing to do inside the image tag itself, right? Because, you know, you can just think about it. Well, you can go ahead and write captions and stuff, but again, don't bite, bite me on this one. That is not how the web works. So the creators of web, when they thought that, oh, okay, image is just, you know, using the SRC and that's it. There's nothing more. So why the hell does it need a closing tag? Or why the hell, you know, do you actually need, um, to have some sort of content in between. Well, seems like a valid reasoning, right? So we do not really need a closing tag at all for the image part. Now this might sound absurd to you. What I have said before is that you need an opening tag and a closing tag always in HTML. But for certain tags, like image is one of the tags, you do not really need a closing tag. And the reason for that is because their purpose, their context is fulfilled by the opening tag itself, right? And even if you write a closing tag, A, number one, this is wrong, syntax syntax wise of HTML. And number two, even if this were considered right in the HTML world, you do not really have anything to write here, right? I mean, sure, you can go ahead and place a paragraph or, you know, an anchor tag here, but you may well do that outside the image tag as well, because nothing really makes um, useful, nothing you put here makes a difference to this particular image being rendered or to your rest of your document, right? So this is the reason tags like image, image is one of the tags, does not really have a closing tag um, when you're creating websites, right? Because browser just sees it, spacks, it goes, okay, I'm going to go ahead and fetch this image, you know, smack it right there on the browser screen and I'm done. Let's just move forward, right? So that's how it works. So yeah, that's that's basically it. How image tag works? How um, you know you're gonna fetch an image and display it? Why it does not really have a closing tag? I hope that makes sense now. And yeah, there are a bunch of tags like this in the HTML world. So 
just just be sure to spot when you, to to be able to recognize when you see one so yeah that's basically it for this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one